but I think that uh, in respect of this particular calypso, I felt it was abusive, I felt it was slanderous, and I felt that um, more importantly, I didn't mind if it was perhaps played in other places which I was not associated with. I felt it should not have been played in the government radio station. Minister of Transport, Robeson Ben. The minister adds that he still holds the view that such slanderous music should not be played on the national radio. The minister maintained that there should be facts to support the lyrics of the music. However, in the particular clips of music, there was none. But I don't know, and I am not aware, that the extent to which these statements, are, are, which are made in these songs, have any real basis, in fact, that could be proved in a court. And I would think that if a public and government-sponsored activity is undertaken, and certain statements are made, not in a satirical way, but in an abusive way, that it should be based in fact, in some fact that could be properly contested in a court. Meanwhile, Cabinet Secretary Dr. Roger Luncheon had said he was unaware there is a ban on the 2013 Calypso lyrics being played on the National Communication Network, NCN. Dr. Luncheon explained that what occurred was that the rendition was interrupted for other reasons. He said there is a code which is given to all Calypsonians and they are expected to adhere to it, noting that the government still reposes quite a bit of confidence in the judges of the Calypso competition. Tracy Romalo, Frenzy News.